evening guys. Nissan Gumbawa. <laughs> We're playing Kenshin again and we have Bajel Kavea that popped out recently. And we're going to see if we can try to get them to our wishes. Best of luck to me, of course. We don't know. <laughs> we don't know if we're able to get them. It's going to be like the fire, the fire zone incident. I never got her at all. Let's see. I was going to do the buy shoes, buy Joe the quest. God. Okay, Noel, fish hole. Jeez. You're both already C6. Kavea! I said that can be official, but I will be laughing. Double purples? What's happening? Shit, he came home. <laughs> I didn't ask for him to say, Dr. Baijiu, please come home right before stream with Kaveya. Like, please come home. He answered. <laughs> you pray before you wish. <laughs> That's the thing. And not And a Respo. <laughs> we got new characters, but I don't know if I can get. Rosaria and what's this? The Wandering Evening Star. Jay advised that used by researchers to observe and perform calculations on telesso phenomena. It serves the conduct and catalyst. Oh. The Sumerian uh, catalyst. So this would have been beta weapon for the Wanderer. <laughs> or for Nahida. Let's see our characters. We got the babies. First, this one. Baby Kavea. Hmm. Yeah, hmm. make sure you got his wings and plants. His weapon. Of course, uh, I'll give him. Uh, I'll give him that for, for now. Give him that for now, because. I don't think he even has a killing weapon. It's like Candace. I gave him a. Uh, wants that weapons. I'm glad you gave me a chance. I always think it takes people with similar tastes to sustain a pleasant conversation. Nice to meet you. I'm Kabe, Close. an architect. If you have a project you'd like me to work on, then I'll need a detailed description of what you have in mind. The ability to appreciate beauty is an important virtue. It's good to get out and stretch your legs once in a while. People aren't made to stay cooped up inside all the time. My latest design's getting there, but there's still room for improvement. Hmm, better make my finishing touches before the deadline creeps up. Why does he sound so to me like I'm somewhat a perfectionist? Make sure the main work is done, but also get the, de the in-depth details within it cleared and clean, you know? Huh? When did it start to rain? Oh no, I forgot to bring an umbrella. Did you see that? That bolt of lightning was such an interesting shape. <laughs> it was like the wind's creeping in from the back of my shirt. And also the front. Well, you have to DB shirt, uh... 
I get dizzy and sleepy when I'm under the sun for too long. It's a similar feeling to pulling an all-nighter on a work project. This isn't my first trek into the desert, but I can never get used to the heat. <sighs> Is there no shade anywhere? Did you sleep well? I hope this midday... There's supposed to be a... Relax. It's fair to say I'm a pretty proud person when it comes to my area of expertise. Most scholars are when talking about their chosen fields. After all, we build our whole lives around it. I mean, if I ever stopped taking pride in my own work, then I would also forfeit the right to have any expectations of myself or anyone else. You must have seen the Palace of Alcazarzare before. That's my magnum opus. I sacrificed so much for that. Everyone else thought I'd lost my mind. <laughs> well, if you're not me, and you don't share my trade, I wouldn't expect you to understand. Hmm. It'd be nice to meet someone who did understand, though. <laughs> People who know what drives them to create deserve our respect. Wouldn't you agree? The uninitiated often assume that the expertise of Kasharwar architects starts with clay and ends with lumber. It's such an ignorant perspective that it's not even worth arguing against. If all it took to build a house was to smoosh a few random materials together, there'd be no need for this discipline in the first place. As well as being one of the building blocks of human culture and civilization, architecture is also an art form. Art does not exist in a vacuum, so I've always been mindful of the experiential factor for the occupants, and the emotional character conveyed to those looking on from the outside. Oh, and I'm always looking for better ways to integrate artistic expression and practical functionality. <laughs> I'm literally eating the snack, my snacks right now, because this is a long chat for him. You heard that I've earned myself a little fame in Sumeru? <laughs> Don't believe everything you hear. They're exaggerating, trust me. It's easy enough to make a name for yourself in Sumeru if you stick around here long enough. Honestly, I think managing to keep a low profile would be more of an achievement. I hope you didn't hear about me because of my bankruptcy scandal, though. Hmm. If you're actually willing to hear me out, I could tell you about some of my more redeeming qualities. <laughs> Music, architecture, sculpting, painting, all are worth taking the time to appreciate properly. My troubles? <sighs> my favorites are alcohol, warm soup, and anything with cream or cheese in it. Oh, and I'll never say no to fresh fruit. I can't deal with anything that's too hot or spicy. If I have to eat them, I leave them to cool first, so I at least don't burn my tongue. True. This is marvelous. I bet this... Uh-huh. Is it your birthday today? Well, congratulations. Birthdays are important days, and it's also one of those days in the year that gets you thinking about your family. However you spend today, I hope it makes you happy. I like how he has, uh... I'll heat them both as temperate and complicated. <laughs> I'll heat them. Tanari, Dori. Be spicy with a champ about Dori. Arzan, Nilu. Scanning! Come at me! Sight clear! Watch and learn! Breaking new ground! Feast your eyes! A new discovery. What a lucky find. Bet that's made your day. This is incredible! No! Extraordinary! He has that voice that is coming from, like, Cookie Run for some reason in my head. How annoying! That was your last chance! The uh, Albedo is the Herb Cookie, and the Male Traveler is, uh, Espresso Cookie. I wouldn't be surprised there's other voice actors from Cookie Run in here. <laughs> uh, shoo! Leave this to me! Get behind me! So many things I never accomplished! Uh, don't... Uh, hey! Uh, need a hand? I'll take it. Is that the client? Wait. Oh, it's you! Wow. <laughs> All right, and then... First gotta get your talent set. Girl, you're C5. No, that's not your C6, Candace. Girl! <laughs> Girl, you're our C6 now, Candace. How do you feel? How do you feel, lady? Send it a king desert. <laughs> Do you feel? Up? Hello, up. <laughs> baby pharmacist too.
temporary getting this one. You are temporary getting this one. I love with this one too, because I'd never had it before. by shows, but it's a Sumerian weapon. <laughs> Hello, I am Baiju, a practitioner of medicine at Boo Boo Pharmacy. So, are you experiencing any discomfort? If so, where? And how many days have the symptoms... <sighs> when on the road, one should take ample time to pause and appreciate the wondrous scenery along the way. You're about to collapse, aren't you? Life, death... <coughs> the weather is damp and don't worry. Chang-shang? Chang-shang? <laughs> Out like a light. <sighs> what lovely weather! Which reminds me, we just received a batch of herbs. Don't worry. Even if Chi-Chi forgot to dry out the herbs, Herbalist Gui will certainly remember to put them out in the sun. <laughs> yes, you're right. I would advise you to stay out of such windy conditions. Good morning. You must goody. Yes, my master did entrust to me many medical formulas from the ancient era. However, although the ancient prescriptions were compiled by our ancestors and have stood the test of time, we mustn't also forget to look forward. Times have changed, and so have our surroundings and customs. Treatments that were effective in the bygone times may not prove to be as effective now. Clinging to the classic prescriptions of the past may not ultimately serve the best interest of the patients nowadays. True. I tend to anyone who comes to boot. It's said that there are a wide variety of mushroom species native to Sumeru's rainforests, and that some species can even cause hallucinatory effects, which may have medicinal value. However, I've never had the opportunity to study these mushrooms in detail. I'm thinking to go and have a look for myself the next time I'm on vacation. He has a plan. <laughs> I am merely a mortal doctor, so I'm afraid I don't have many interesting stories to share. <laughs> if you're looking for legends, then you should go to the Heiyu Tea House and listen to the story. T I enjoy sorting medicinal and the most difficult part. You shouldn't be a picky eater. Me? Why would you ever purchase so much candy? <laughs> Just be sure not to eat it too quickly. And remember, that too much candy can give you cavities. Me? I seldom indulge in sweets. And I don't often eat spicy food either. After all, if I don't watch what I eat, then how can I expect that of my patients? <laughs> I'm just crying now. He just sounds like a dietitian uncle. <laughs> Superb. Ah, well. Superb. More, please. Well. Refresh my memory, Baiju. How do we say that again? <laughs> you mean, how to wish someone a happy birthday? Yes, precisely. I hope that this day will be one filled with joy. The doctor will see you now. A bitter pill to swallow. Mind the side effects. Seems like an... Remember, taking a turn for the... <coughs> what? So all that running around was for this? Chang Chang, behave. <laughs> the life of an a don't forget to wash your hands. I can still keep a slippery situation. I can't fall here. Exercise. Be mindful of. I should. I'm so some doctor. Uh, uh, this is not. I'll treat time for. Hopefully this. <laughs> Yeah, I'll check these. Why are we 
Lucy, Dr. Garcia, and the Fountain Guy, Jabara Gold's Monolith Protection. You know what? The value of knowledge cannot simply. <sighs> value of knowledge, I know, I know. <laughs> I know, Tenari, I know. I gotta pull up the babyest. I'll take care of this. Sure. I'll hang out with you, youngsters. <laughs> I gotta put up the babies first. Quantified in monetary terms. That's from her. These parts are safe for sure. <laughs> He uses his own suitcase. <laughs> so do it for me. How are you guys doing? Sir, I must so sincerely suggest that we find a way to pay. There were more like bandits than merchants. Could they ask for such a high price for just a couple of insignias? I can't do a French accent. <laughs> Perhaps they noticed how your eyes lit up when they saw your their goods. Uh, what you need is some news? Traveler! Your time is always most opportune. <laughs> if it's your help last time, I have basically produced an acceptable duplicate. However, I encountered another problem after. While reproducing some of the parts, I found that an exclusively hard material would damage the other parts. However, these exclusive hard parts would crack to different extents upon the slightest impact. Thus, I've begun searching for a material that is both hard and flexible. That sounds so wrong. After relentless research, and after relentless harassing Mr. Angar, I thought I could find the material I sought in the seniors that the treasure holders carry around with them. Those merchants, as well as the. as well, have been treasure holders by the way they were robbing me. Uh, so this is where I come in. Correct? Correcto? I crave your name on the on my main bearing on my numbering machine. <laughs> Why'd I go Indian? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I should copy your name on the main bearing on my numbering machine. I can't express my gratitude enough. <laughs> it's always like, ugh. It's called being a freelancer. Old folks just don't get it. I think I have a. I think I have a shit ton of them to give to you. Yeah, let me give you... These. These food. Oh my, these things are high quality. Hell, I had to piece the gear first. Um, no, we should tackle the problem with the bearings first. Use your payment, Traveler. Given the current services, we're probably in for some long-term cooperation. Corroboration. Corroboro. Operation. God damn it, my tongue. Ugh. Mr. Garcia's account, certain amount is really a headache. Where's Bat Owls? Where's Bat Owls? Oh, it's in the desert, too. Ugh. <laughs> Rub my arms like the French. Very. He doesn't really hold his sword. What happens if he do a dive? He actually holds it. He actually holds it, but he shakes his hand. Does this thing get come out too? Spell. I don't think it 
there is a bow. Vea. Not really a weapon. The combat bow, but kind of her bow, her bow style. That's a scenario. Probably King Squire might be one of them. Definitely not this one. the Akahara Aquamarine and then the one <laughs> the one Meru <laughs> uh, Claymore did I did not have that was the I gave to Dia this is Dia's but I don't have it and Eula's that's it and then Blackcliff Slasher that's Beidos I gave her the fish she smacked people with fish. Like Tanari. Like Tanari. Like Tanari. She smacked people with swordfish. We'll see about that. Scanning. Advent, I'm going in! One with the force. Let's nip that in the butt. Too late for regrets. Sight clear. Let's light it up. Can't see? Right. Hmm. This will do nicely. Thank you. For his key to the house, which, if you pay attention, Genshin, um, Al Haytham has it. Like, what? Whatever. <laughs> he has the same, uh, he has the same thing as Yao Yang Nahita. This'll do nicely. This is the... It's his style. <laughs> the heart of Korean brilliance. Alright, uh... Not bad. <laughs> I also have my Joe's style too. It's all from the others. Oh, it's the flower in the hat. Okay. One with 
the force. Yeah, right. Yeah, I hear everything. <laughs> Come at me. <laughs> Teamwork is dream work. Right. Too late for regret. Wretched dastard. Sight clear. Nip that in the butt. Yeah, sir. Right. Two. Two. Huh. Hey, ya. Desert Pavilion. Oh. I heard Kuroko share the same, like, about the same artifacts. I've been pinged. Am I or Hey. How did we circle back here again? <laughs> All right. Uh have this baby. I'll treat your wounds. Hmm. Uh he can I can do child. Need to end a few enemies? Side effects. Let's light it up. Yeah. It's underground, isn't it? <laughs> Can't see? Yeah. <laughs> Let's nip that in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> Adventure time! Everybody stand back! And travel! The doctor was seen! Seems like an emergency. Rip time! Let's light it up! Underground. Eh? 
Adventure time. Oh. Oh, it's because of Baiju's. We go. So, because of Baiju's ability, if I pick up anything that's, uh, you know, like <laughs> herb or cooking ingredient, I get health back. <laughs> that is a system that I could be overly abused. <laughs> yourself this is gonna hurt
ist noch schön. This one. Time to lose. You can run, but you can't hide. No time to lose. I could get used to this. You're mine. Who's next? No time to lose. No time to lose. Everything must take its due course. No need to be impatient. Everything must take its due course. In the name of the princess. And shroud! 
You can run, but you can't hide. One with the force. I hear everything. Teamwork is dreamwork. Midnight Phantasmagoria. Can't see. Brace yourself. This is gonna hurt. Who's next? By royal decree. Get out of here. Out of the way. And trap. Let's nip that in the butt. Rip time. Yeah. 
Death looms. My time to shine. How? I had only just... Yes. Teamwork is dreamwork. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Time for a house call. Sure. I'll hang out with you youngsters. Need a hand? There you go. The babies. Fellow babies. <laughs> they don't die in one hit. What lovely weather. Which reminds me, we just received a batch of herbs. Don't worry. Even if Chi Chi forgot to dry out the herbs, Herbalist Gwei will certainly remember to put them out in the sun. <laughs> yes, you're right. Ad Astra Abyssos. Thank you for completing. Spider-Man. <laughs> Is it you? Uh, Adventure time! Off we go! Where's that Chi Chi? What's your name, buddy? Are you here to buy some medicine? Where are your mom and dad? No, I'm not. Um, my name's Ayu, and I'm here because... Hey there, Chi-Chi. Hi, Gwei. What's going on? Hi, Traveler and Paimon. Ah, uh, you've actually come at the perfect time. This little boy seems to have gotten himself lost. I think he must be new to the city. Probably wandered away from his parents and... No, listen to me. I'm not the one who's lost. It's my dad. Your dad? A fully grown man managed to get lost in Leela Harbor. Well, my dad's always been kind of forgetful. In the past, he was just a little slow to react sometimes. But I'm worried that it's getting more serious. So, what about your mom? She went out a few days ago to gather some herbs for my dad, but she still hasn't come back. Meanwhile, my dad's been getting worse and worse. I remembered that the owner of Boo Boo Pharmacy always runs a clinic in Chingsa Village during the Lantern Rite. So I thought, why don't I take Dad to Liyue Harbor to see him there? When we got to the city gate, I took a moment to ask the middle of guards for directions to the pharmacy. And then, when I turned back around, my dad was gone! I asked the middle of guys to go find him, but he said they won't be able to send that many people. Oh. So then I figured, maybe I can ask some other people in the city to help. You came to the right place. We're pros at finding people. Isn't it Changshan can help. She has a good sense of smell, like a dog. <laughs> hey, like a sky. who's talking about me behind my back? She knows. Changsheng, <laughs> Chi Chi meant that as a compliment. There's no need to be upset. Hello, child. You mentioned that you were looking for the owner of Boo Boo Pharmacy. How might we be of service? You have a talking snake? Oh, are you Uncle Baiju? <laughs> um, 
Uncle Paiju. Chengsheng, now's not the time. My dear boy, could you tell me more about your father's condition, as much as you can recall? Yes, Uncle... Uh, Dr. Baiju. I feel like it's old timers. I see. And your family lives near Qingsa village, you say? I visit patients there frequently, but I don't recall ever seeing you or your parents. Uh-huh. My mom doesn't like meeting other people, especially during Lantern Ride. She always tells me to just stay at home and keep my dad company. Hmm, is that so? Ayu, by any chance, is your mother's name Jiangli? Whoa, yeah, it is. Do you know my mom, Dr. Baiju? I certainly do. Gui, Chi Chi, are there any pressing matters in the pharmacy at the moment? Ayu's parents are old acquaintances of mine. So I would very much like to assist with the search. Would the two of you have time to join me? Don't forget us two. We already told Ayu that we'd help. Oh, really? Well, that's wonderful. We are most grateful for your support. Something happens, blame Paimon. She doesn't shut her pie hole. <laughs> Chi Chi and I need to clear up the shop front first. But once that's taken care of, we'll be right out to help you with the search. Family is very important. Thank you. Then I'll leave you to handle the pharmacy. Traveler, Paimon, why don't you come with me and Ayu? Let's start by talking to the Millilith guards at the city gates, see if they have an update. This her is way not wearing an outfit. It's no outfit. Also, uh, well. I'm on the flying chatterbox. I'm on the black hole of food. I'm on the destruction of food vendors. <laughs> if you didn't see the comics, you need to. It's hilarious. I'm on the story like a. Uh, you know, uh, you know, the of the stick? She destroyed a food stand of that to eat all the food. Got arrested by, <laughs> by the garden instead. So, look at Chi Chi. Chung Yun's description of Chi Chi's relations is. I feel like I met her before, like in the family tree or something, but it's too far back. So, my theory is Chi Chi belongs to Chung Yun's family, but Chun, Chun Hu, because they're all the ice users. And I believe Chi Chi is around the time Chun Hu was a child. This is a zombie. Even before that, <laughs> I was a family exorcist. They searched to the north, but couldn't find anyone who matched the description. <sighs> well, that complicates things. And the city folks say there's no sign of them either. We need to start looking further afield. But where are we going to get the people? Excuse me, sirs. Have you found out anything about my dad yet? Ah, hey there, buddy. Dr. Baiju. What brings you out this way? The boy asked for our help, so we're here to join the search. Any new developments to update us on? Oh, thank goodness. We were just discussing how we're running out of manpower. As for updates... I'm sorry to say that we've searched the surrounding area thoroughly, but didn't find anything. The guards at the crossing up ahead said they hadn't seen anyone either, so we don't believe he was heading towards the Guayli Plains. But it is possible that he was bound for Lu Hua Pool. Lu Hua Pool? The terrain there can be tricky to navigate. Let's hope he hasn't run into any trouble. Uh, we took care of that area. You will? Oh, great. We can't thank you enough. Sorry we weren't able to find your dad, buddy. That's okay. Thank you for trying. <laughs> that, can, it's like, that can't all be just one person. You know? It's just like... I don't think I can just pitch that beat. <laughs> Pigeons. Just up here and then to the left. I can see you flapping your wings. Adventure time! Pull a horizon and stab you. <laughs> Put a camera <laughs> We 
go. That's a good job, Bill. Busy with this. I actually clean this area up a little bit more than <laughs> touch of leeway. <coughs> it actually changed up the way is uh, definitely. I feel like this is Xin Yang's house around here. Anything about it? Yep. House. Adventure time! Oh. Adventure time! Uh, dwelling. Uh, off we go. Dad, Dad, can you hear me? That scared me. <laughs> that scared me for a sec. Is that him? <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> <laughs> <They're striked. gasps> There's somebody over there! Oh no. Oh no. It's... Hey, you! Stop! Don't go any further! Pardon me. Watch where you're going! <sighs> oh, dear customer. Sheng Funeral Parlor does appreciate your patronage, but you needn't hasten the inevitable. Are you all right? To possess. Huh? Dad! Hey, Lutao! My, my, who do we have here? Mm -hmm. It's the Traveler in Paimon. And, uh, my worst nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> I see. She still hasn't warmed to you. <laughs> Thank you, Director Hu, for saving this man. Dad, are you okay? Do you recognize me? It's me, Ayu. Uh, you're Ayu? Uh, 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 who am I? Your name is Xiao Liang, and you live just west of Qingsa Village. You were supposed to come to Liyue Harbor to see the doctor, remember? Does that jog your memory? Jin. Jin. Oh, uh, uh, my name is Jia Liang. Uh, Liyue Harbor. See the doctor? Uh, yes, yes, I I'm Jia Liang, and I need to see the doctor. Wait, uh, why do I need to see the doctor? Yeah, a lot of bags uh -oh. under his eyes. He seems in really bad shape. We need to get him back to Boo Boo Pharmacy right away. Sorry, Hotel. Got a dash. Dinner's on us next time. Hold on a second. You're not seriously thinking of taking him to Boo Boo Pharmacy in this state, are you? Huh? Why not? What's the problem? Come on, Baiju. Don't tell me you haven't noticed it. Didn't your master teach you how to spot the signs? Why do I get the sense that you spotted them right away, but you're planning to use it for your own ends? <laughs> Use what? What are you talking about? Uh, Paimon's lost. Of course you are. There are traces of god remains in Jia Liang's system. Oh, yes, but more importantly, they're on the verge of an outburst. If that happens, the consequences will be unthinkable. Oh, so Paimon, I'm sorry. Kale. What? That's what happened to Kale. God remains? Hmm. There's no need to worry, Director Hu. I have methods of keeping them at bay. It is the sworn duty of all who practice medicine to cure illnesses and save lives. What reason would I have to neglect a patient in need who is right there in front of me? Besides, it was my late master's dying wish to be able to save this patient in particular. Perhaps out of respect for him, you could give me a day's grace so that I have time to treat him? Now you're bringing my great uncle into this? Baiju, just what are you planning this time? <sighs> Merely to cure this man, nothing more. 
But of course, if you have any doubt as to my intentions, you are more than welcome to accompany me to Boo Boo Pharmacy and monitor my activities. Oh, really? I thought I was persona non grata at Boo Boo Pharmacy. You're being unusually generous today. So, Jung Lian has guy remains in his system. Was he experimented on by the doctor? Or did he accidentally eat the corpse of a fallen god thinking it's like, you know, oh, it's just regular meat, you know? Because we don't know. Okay, deal. We're not going to solve anything by keeping Jia Liang here. I'm happy to do it your way, but only for my great uncle's sake and the travelers, of course. You must be pleased you brought the Traveler along. Otherwise, this would have been a much more vexing ordeal. Well, right time here. is of the essence. Changed Let's get ourselves face. back to Boo Boo Pharmacy at once. Oh, good. We all teleported. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm, blockages within the cardiovascular system... Reduced blood flow and energy circulation? I see. I suppose this must have caused the cognitive abnormalities. Dr. Baiju, how bad is it? Can you cure him? Don't you worry. Baiju's a really great doctor. He's sure to find a way. Isn't that right, Baiju? Ayu, do you know when your father first started displaying these symptoms? Um, I'm not sure. He's been like this for as long as I can remember. But it wasn't as bad as this when I was still little. Hmm. So it's been a long time indeed. No. I have a treatment plan in mind. We can start tonight. Come and see me again tomorrow morning. I promise that by then, Ayu will find his father healthy and lucid again. Thank you, Dr. Baiju. Thank you so much. If you still have any misgivings, Director Hu... Please feel free to hang around for as long as you wish. However, it would be best if you step outside this room. A doctor must be able to focus when treating a patient. Any distractions heighten the risk of complications. Yes, of course, absolutely. I'll just go and look at the flowers or something. But I will be back in an instant at the first sign that something's amiss. See you tomorrow, Baiju and Chuck. Bye for now, everyone. Are you ready, Baiju? Ready as I'll ever be. I'm used to it by now. Come on, let's get started. So... Oh. <laughs> Last machine I thought. Ends well, huh? You know, Paimon's kind of curious after hearing Baiju mention those people from his past. What do you? Yeah, you must be curious too, right? Mr. Quay, I want to go to the Adventurers Guild and get them to help look for my mom. Should I take anything with me? Hmm. Well, you need enough cash to pay their fees, and there'll be some paperwork to fill out. Wow, these two are hard at work. While I'm idling time on admiring the scenery, the spectacled snake-bedecked docks doing surgery. Hello, you busy bees, and what do you have to discuss with the funeral director today? Hello. Actually, don't tell me. Let me guess. Hmm, from the looks on your faces, you've got some questions for me. <laughs> Guilty as charged. So, um, we were just a little curious about Baiju's master. What was he like? Oh, and also, how come you and Baiju could tell so quickly that Jia Liang had God remains in his system? Huh? I thought I told you once before. Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor was first founded to fight back against the vengeful wrath of gods defeated in war. Huh. 
<laughs> well, it is a dusty old tale by this point. Long story short, in the ancient world, dead gods were acting up. So our ancestors started purifying the air and burning the bodies of the deceased to guard the border between life and death. These days, we don't deal with the wrath of the gods anymore, but all the relevant know-how is still passed down to each generation, so we can identify gods' remains when we see them. Okay, Paimon kind of gets it now. Wait, so how did Baiju learn to spot them? Almost certainly from his master, who was also my great-uncle. Baiju's master was my grandpa's younger brother, a former deputy director of Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Wow, fancy that! Huh. Uh, so, if he was from Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, how'd he end up as Baiju's master? According to my grandpa, he and my great-uncle once went traveling together when they were young. They ended up at Chen Yu Vale, where they met a pharmacist. Been that there. pharmacist <laughs> must have cast some sort of spell on my great-uncle. Because after that encounter, he suddenly announced he wanted to leave the family business and go practice medicine instead. My grandpa had a huge argument with him, but he couldn't convince him to stay. So my grandpa inherited the funeral parlor, while my great-uncle stayed in Chen Yu Vale to practice medicine. They never spoke to each other again. Uh, funeral yeah, director to Chen doctor is a pretty big That's career a change. Kind of hard to imagine. But why did it drive know. a wedge between them for the rest of their lives? That the seems a bit extreme. If he had just become a regular sure. doctor, there would have been no issue. After all, the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor wasn't unlike a regular doctor's clinic in the early days. But according to my grandpa, the pharmacist they met had a very ominous aura about him. And on top of that, the kind of medicine practiced in the Chen Yu Vale tradition goes against the natural order of things. In what way? Oh. Don't know. My grandpa didn't know the specifics, but... Even that says to me that one thing I do know about Baiju is that he's obsessed with the idea of immortality. Anyway, so I will be sticking around here for now to keep a close eye on. Of course, that's the case. After all that, it seems like we have more questions than answers. Never mind. We'll just have to ask Baiju himself about all of this tomorrow. Adventure time! PBS, uh, PBS, like, uh, storyline. I wish I had that. My Shenzhen is the wife of my show. It's a human. I don't know if my show married her. To a corrupt monk. I just have to Asian roots. I came from a country where they're in the Ranayama in our Asian version. There is a lord that was kicked out of the demon clan. Adventure time! Of course, as a traitor. <laughs> Heroes. That and they, the heroes say his the demoness uh, daughter from being slaughtered is the demon king. Force the daughter to ben become. It's a new day! Let's go back to Boo Boo Pharmacy and check out how Jia Liang is doing. I'm a big fan of Sita in the disguise. Sita falls, kill it. Chin 
that one <laughs> person underneath and put them out of my home. Are they hungry? <laughs> we feed the guards. Off we go! Are you? Dad, you remember me. Yes, I remember now. Oh, are you? I'm so sorry. You must have been worried sick. Has your mom shown up yet? She's been gone for a while, hasn't she? Don't worry, Dad. I got the Adventurers Guild to help us look for her. And Dr. Baiju's gonna help too. Right now, all you need to do is concentrate on getting better. Great. That's wonderful. I can't thank you enough, Dr. Baiju. My pleasure, really. It's the least I can do to honor my late master's dying wish. If anything, I should be apologizing to you for not making the time to visit in all these years. <laughs> not at all, Dr. Baiju. It's only because Jiang Li... Uh... Hmm... What was her reason again? You're still in the early stages of recovery, so you'll need to take it easy for a while. Take it slowly and try not to overexert yourself. I suggest you stay at Boo Boo Pharmacy and rest for at least the next few days. Director Hu, do you have any further reservations about Jia Liang's condition? Hmm, it seems like the evil presence is gone after all. You really did manage to suppress it, huh? But... How did you accomplish this in a single night? <laughs> that would be a trade secret, I'm afraid. If that gives you any cause for concern, you may continue to monitor Jia Liang for as long as you wish. Though, I regret to say that Boo Boo Pharmacy cannot offer to reimburse Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor for any revenue lost in the meantime. Oh, come on, Baiju. I'm not that unreasonable. Ah. <sighs> I've been stuck indoors for too long. Ah, yes, of course. Everyone, please excuse Changsheng and myself for a moment. Let me guess, they extracted the god <coughs> and ate it. Suffering now, are we? Did you seriously expect to cover it up just by putting on a brave face and ignoring it? If it weren't for my quick thinking, they'd have all seen the sorry state you're in by now. <sighs> but in any case, why must you keep this a secret from every- Who's there? <laughs> why did you follow us here? Sense. Oh, <laughs> it's nothing. I just needed to get some air. What did I just say about putting on a brave face? Traveler, Paimon, the truth is, Baiju did not cure Jia Liang's illness. Instead, he transferred some of his own life force to his patient to temporarily subdue the poison in his system. <sighs> Baiju... Can you please... My predecessors in medicine forged a contract with Changsheng. Every successor to this contract is able to use Changsheng's secret art to treat patients. I believe the irregularities with Jia Liang's heart meridian were likely caused by a poison concocted using god remains as a key ingredient. The poison has not been purged from Jia Liang's system. Rather, I infused him with some of my own life force, using Changsheng as the delivery medium. This will suppress the poison's effects for a limited time. Changsheng? You can do that? Huh. Paimon always thought you were just Baiju's strange choice of a necklace. Hey, I'll have you know that I commanded the respect of even the Adepti back in Chenyu Vale. If anything, he is my mannequin. 
I was treating patients with Baiju's master's master long before he ever set eyes on his first medical text. Uh. Whoa. Guess you shouldn't judge a snake by its skin. Please, that's enough. <laughs> <coughs> Wait a sec. Huto was saying that the branch of medicine you studied uses some pretty dubious methods. So, when you transfer your life force, does that... Hardly. <laughs> Changsheng helps to keep my chi in balance, so there is no great harm done. Still, Baiju's life force is not unlimited. He must find a way to neutralize the poison in Jialyang's body. And soon, Traveler, Paimon, would you lend this dummy a hand? <laughs> he needs someone checking up on him, or he'll exhaust himself trying to accomplish everything on his own. <sighs> Baiju, don't you think you should seize this opportunity? You cannot expect to hide this from everyone for your entire life. Time will see that all secrets surface eventually. Entire life. Thank you, Traveler and Paimon. Huh. Paimon doesn't think we've seen this side of you. But the poison in Jialiang's system must have accumulated over a prolonged period. I think I should pay a visit to their family home and look f Yes. I asked Ayu this morning before you arrived. He told me that his family lives in a secluded spot to the west of Qingsa village. Let's head there together once I've asked Gui and Chi Chi to look after the pharmacy. As well as investigating Jia Liang's exposure to the poison, we should also keep an eye out for Ayu's missing mother, my fellow disciple Jiang Li. Uh. That moment when he accidentally pops it on your body as a crust for stuff. Well, it just crusts on my back. Worst feeling ever. Just the, uh, not the poison itself. It's just all the bacteria and stuff coming out of your body. Passing all that bits of that. Nor have I. And I've hosted clinics at Qingsa Village many times in the past, if you ask me. Jiang Li was trying to remain unnoticed. Oh, that reminds Paimon. <laughs> we meant to ask earlier, but it slipped our minds in the rush to get here. Could you tell us more oh, about Jiang like. Li? You said <laughs> she was your fellow disciple, right? She was indeed. We studied medicine together under the same master near Chen Yu Vale. Where is Chen Yu she is several years older than I and also began her travels far earlier than me. As a result, the time I spent studying alongside her was rather short. Supposedly, she met an herb gatherer sometime during her travels and decided to settle down with him. That must have been Jia Liang. Wait, Changsheng, are you saying... Neither of you had actually met Jia Liang or Ayu before all of this? Jiang Li did occasionally come back to Chen Yu Vale to see our master, but for whatever reason, she hardly ever talked about her family. The last time she visited us, she and master had some sort of quarrel. We never heard from her after that. It almost seemed as if she'd gone into hiding. Quarrel? What happened? I don't know. I did not witness the argument myself. Nor did Master ever explain it to me. Uh. All he would say is that should I ever encounter Jiang Li or her family in the future, I should do everything in my power to help them. Oh, so that's why you would- No. Even if my Master had never said anything, it would- <sighs> Paimon never knew you were 
were so selfish, Baiju. <laughs> so a few words from me is enough to dispel all your suspicions? Hmm? <laughs> you ought not be quite so quick to relax your guard, Paimon. Sometimes even the good guys have their own private agenda. What the? Okay, that was the most suspicious sounding thing you've ever said. Hey, Nick <laughs> Told us to rebuild Let's her leave the chamber. idle chatter there for now. Hmm? Jiang Li has lived in this house for many years. There must let's split up. But if Alright. Where are you, Rosa? Is I you, experiment child? Chengsheng and I found a hidden compartment. This is what was hidden inside. Ah, you sense it too? You're right. This is a poison concocted using god remains. Uh, is it? Breathing? Paimon's not seeing things, is she? No. Your eyes do not deceive you. I do believe the poison in this bottle is... alive. Some toxins act a lot like living organisms. I read about this once in the origins and symptoms of diseases. This ancient class of poisons consists of mother and minor loads, capable of sustaining a connection over vast distances. If it's a concoction of this kind we're dealing with, then both the poison in Jia Liang's system and this one here are likely minor loads. Offshoots, essentially. Offshoots? So... The main body is somewhere else? Correct. Whoever is administering the poison can manipulate the source to indirectly control the poisoned individual's behavior and even cognition. Similarly, the poisoned individual will hear, to a varying extent, the call of the source. The call of the... Wait. So back when Jia Liang ran off, maybe that ex... Only one thing could have been drawing him there. The source of the god remains used as the poison's key ingredient, the mother load. Uh, well. This is getting crazier and crazier. <clears throat> hey, why has everyone gone quiet all of a sudden? Since this poison was carefully hidden away in a secret compartment, the one who concocted it is likely a resident of the house. You mean, Jia Liang? Why would he poison himself? Are you stupid? <laughs> Think a little harder, Paimon. Someone else who lives here. Who and who might have expertise in stupid? crafting drugs. <laughs> huh? So you're saying... <gasps> it was Jiang Li? Wait, but... That doesn't make any sense either. I agree. It makes little sense. J Look at the facts, though. How many people in the entirety of Li Yue have the ability to concoct a poison from god remains? Hmm. It's too early to draw any conclusions. We yes. According to the origins and symptoms of diseases, so if we can find and destroy the source of these god remains, the poison will leave Jia Liang's system without the need for any further treatment. Do you know anything about god remains in Qingsa Village? <sighs> Even the history books have no record of this. The only ones who'll know anything are those old fogies who have been hanging around here since the beginning of time. Hmm. Didn't you used to be on good terms with the Adepti, though? You sure they didn't tell you anything about this? Well, uh... <clears throat> Changsheng's memories and powers are not what they were in her prime. These days, she has to enter a contract with a mortal and share their life force just to sustain her own life. 
I fear that such ancient events are long gone from her memory by now. Oh, so they Whoa. wiped. What? After a contract? Hey, plenty of people would jump at the chance to join forces with a powerful being like me. With my assistance in rebalancing your chi, not only can you extend your lifespan, but you will also be stronger, healthier, and able to eat whatever you like with no risk of upsetting your stomach. Stronger and healthier? Wow, that's amazing! Uh, Baiju, maybe when you retire, you can let Paimon sign a contract with Chengsheng for a few days. <laughs> Unfortunately, Chengsheng's contract has strict requirements regarding the host's temperament. None of her hosts have ever been exempted from these rules. I fear that I will be unable to accommodate your wishes, Paimon. Temperament? Uh, hey! What are you trying to say? Did you just subtly insult Paimon to her face? Ugh! Paimon's mad! You're getting ugly nicknames, both of you! Baiju, you're... This is exactly why your natural temperament makes you woefully unsuited to being my host. All right, everybody, calm down. Back to the matter at hand. Huh. With how antisocial they are? If it were up to them, what? <laughs> Seems you're as well call. connected as they hey, say, ciao. traveler. <laughs> we are truly fortunate to have you on our side. Oh. Boyfriend. If you're talking about who Paimon thinks you're talking about, <laughs> you better do the honors. Boy, do my boyfriend. You called? Ah! Ugh, gets Paimon every time. <laughs> Are all Adepti in the habit of materializing out of thin air like this? Well, this is unexpected. Huh? It's you. Baiju of Boo Boo Pharmacy. I do believe I've had the pleasure before. The Lantern Rite, when we met briefly, I was unaware of your true identity. I... Must apologize for the discourtesy. Huh? You two already know each other? Our paths have crossed once before. I sense the presence of evil spirits. Is this why you called me? Just that, that, and this. Hmm. So someone has been concocting demonic poison. Too often, fervent desires drive mortals to abandon all regard for their own safety. It is lamentable. I now know what you seek. It is true that a god's remains are buried beneath the foundations of Chinksa village. A vile monster known as the Chu once wrought havoc over this land, before it was subdued by Rex Lapis. The, the land was finally cleansed of poison when Rex Lapis used statues in his likeness to seal the serpent's remains. Chinksa village was founded some time after that. The seal is still mostly intact. If the Chu is the source, then it must be some of its blood leaking from deep underground. However, its aura is faint and barely detectable. You will need to investigate further to identify the location of the leak. I do not like to intervene against mortals unless absolutely necessary. But when demonic forces are involved, things can spiral out of control. If that happens, be sure to call my name again. Oh. Hmm. Hmm? Nothing. I do not wish to sway decisions that are mortals to make, but immortality may not be the blessing that you imagine it to be. I shall treasure your words of instruction, Master Adeptus. Farewell. What a strange Adeptus. <laughs> Rather different from the way I remember them. That's you for you. <laughs> and thanks to him, we finally got some concrete info to go off of. If the god remains are leaking from underground, Jiang Li must be paying a visit to a subterranean cave on her herb gathering trips. Hmm. If we can find the cave. <sighs> Ma Master! Master! There's a problem! Oh dear. Gwei? Did you run all the way from Boo Boo Pharmacy? What happened? Don't panic. Just catch your breath. And tell me everything. It's... it's Jialyang. He was... he was fine one minute, and then he suddenly took a turn for the worse. Already? How? 
Based on past experience, he should have been fine for the next three days at least. It seems that my worst fears have been confirmed. Everyone, back to Boo Boo Pharmacy now. You take this conclusion of that? He did. <laughs> like, oh, he did. Like, has to take that poison with you just in case. And for safety. No one should not touch the god. Adventure god. time! What's wrong? Dad? Don't be scared. Dr. Baishu will be back soon. How is he doing? Dr. Baishu, you're back! My dad was doing fine earlier, but then he suddenly started coughing up blood. Now he can't even get a full word out anymore. When Gui left, he was still conscious, but... No. Kuei, please take Jia Liang to the back room and prepare for treatment. Yes, of course. Don't worry, Ayu. Baishu's not gonna use Chang Sheng's secret art again, is he? Is there really no other way to save Jia Liang? Oh, please don't worry. Dr. Baishu will find a way. But... but... <laughs> Because of your foolish mother. <laughs> I mean, she's like been pumping, <laughs> pumping him with god remains so you can have like a god child born from it. That'd be disturbing. I hope. But pieces of a dead oh, god in you. Wow. Somehow procure a child with god powers. <laughs> Ew. How are you feeling, Dad? Are you still hurting anywhere? Ah, uh, much better, Ayu. I'm feeling much better. Hmm. W wait. Master said he needed to take a quick rest and asked me to bring you out of the treatment room. He hasn't emerged yet, so he must still be resting. Oh, really? Ah. Uh... I don't know how I can begin to repay- Hmm... No, the Adventurer's Guild hasn't gotten back to me- I'll come with- <sighs> Don't forget what Master said. You're still not out of the woods yet, Jia Liang. I strongly suggest that you- <sighs> Though, on the bright side, this- Traveler? Baiju hasn't shown his face- Go. Huh? Now. <laughs> I think we need to go now. You're finally awake? <sighs> that was far too risky. There was no time. I had no other choice. In any case, it was not completely without benefit to myself. Jiang Li's design is quite brilliant. She makes numerous innovations that I can learn from. So, how much longer do you think... They've been outside waiting for you the whole time while you were... <sighs> Surely he hasn't. Who's talking behind our backs again? Talking mouth right here. Baishu! Changsheng! <sighs> of course. There's no need to be concerned. I merely had to transfer a rather large amount of life force on this- Jia Liang seemed fine yesterday. I... made an error in my initial diagnosis. Jia Liang is in fact suffering from more than one ailment, and as a result, his life force depleted at a greater rate than I had anticipated. What? You mean, even if you got all the- Yes. 
But more pertinently, the poison in Jia Liang's system is there precisely because it is being used to manage his underlying medical condition. Jia Liang has a rare congenital heart condition, and ongoing treatment is essential to maintaining healthy functioning of his heart meridian. Left untreated, it puts the patient at risk of coughing up blood and fainting. And in the longer, though it was created from God remains, this formula is not a poison in Jia Liang's case. Rather, it's his medication. Had he not taken it all these years, he likely would have died a long time ago. Still, using poison to treat a disease is hardly a viable long-term solution. <clears throat> Moreover, the longer he relied upon this medicine, the more resistant his body became to it. Jiang Li... That explains why Ah Yu said his dad has been getting worse. God remains are extremely dangerous to be around because humans have no natural defense against them. I fear that the situation is just as that adeptus described. In an effort to save Jia Liang's life, Jiang Li has abandoned all regard for her own safety. Oh I never suspected that even Jiang Li would turn to the same path as so many others over the years. To sacrifice one's own life to save others. To go beyond human need. Well, I think that it's too early in any case. I have stabilized her regular exposure to God Remains over such a long period, and given that she's already been missing for several days, I am fearing the worst. It's me, Traveler, Dr. Baiju. Ah, it's Jill Young! Dr. Baiju, please let me come with you. You've already done so much for my family. I can no longer just sit here and watch while you put yourself at risk for Jiang Li's sake. After all, if it wasn't for me, she wouldn't have had to put herself in harm's way in the first place. I'm sure I'll be able to remember. I know there's a spot where she says goodbye to me every time she goes to gather- Be careful. If you get too agitated, your blood pressure and stress levels will rise, putting further pressure on your heart. No! We're out of time! Before I forget everything again. This trip will be extremely dangerous, and there is a very real possibility that you will not return from it. Are you sure you're prepared for that? <laughs> I never expected to live this long in the first place. My death is already long overdue, so why should I fear it? There's only one thing I fear now, and that's that I'll forget her again before we manage to find her. Very well. Then follow me. To the director of food. <laughs> Dr. Baiju, are you heading out again? Yes, this could be a long one. Please add an extra measure of mist grass pollen and one dose each of the ingredients from the third and fifth compartments of my medicine cabinet. Uh, doctor? Hop to it now, and remember to be careful with the cauldron this time. Okay. <laughs> Everyone, please be careful that your messengers are outside. Uh, okay, it's at the house again. Um, the door's gonna be in my face. Let's do it. Let's light it up. Uh, that's 
strange feeling is back. It's just like the day I went missing. It's as if something inside me is trying to guide me somewhere. The Mother Lode's influence is growing stronger. But is it because we're getting closer to the source? Or because the leakage of Chu blood is growing more severe? Jia Liang, can you sense which direction the source is in? I think it's this way. <laughs> is it just one obvious cave right by the little waterfall? <laughs> yes, I'm sure of it. I feel a dull ache in my heart. <sighs> this must be the way. Adventure time! This place feels familiar. I think I've been here before. Hmm. There is an inauspicious presence here. Even I can sense it. I think I remember this place. Jia <sighs> Liang, are you okay? No. I have to keep going. I'm not sorry. A walk would be nice. Want me to come along? Let's go gather some samples. Let's go. Advise you too. This place gives Pyme on the creeps. Who knows what we're gonna find up ahead? The digging marks here appear amateur and rather old. I suspect it is a thieves' tunnel. A thieves' tunnel? Hmm. Paimon has heard rumors. Judging by the tools they left behind, it's certain. But why did they abandon this place without even stopping to pack up their tools? Ah, <sighs> I remember now. But she. Uh, she said that the method would cause. Easy, Jia Liang. Sure made themselves at home. I believe this sensor was used to burn a monster repelling incense. A monster repelling incense? Are uh, you sure? Cause we did run into that group of monsters just now. The incense was burned several days ago. If I had to guess, the monsters we fought just now were enticed here by some entity deeper inside the cave. No doubt an encounter with the very same entity was what prompted the treasure hoarders to flee and abandon their designs on this cave. After them, Jiang Li was the next person to discover this place and what lies inside. But to her, it presented an opportunity to save Jia Liang's life, albeit as a last resort. That's right. This sensor, it belongs to Jiang Li. This is where I told Jiang Li to give me the poison. I'm fine. Let's keep going. I can feel it. She's dead. Uh. I can 
feel it. We're getting close. We're almost there. It's right up ahead. The place where we made a pact together to... From the looks of it, the energy released by this mechanism can not only clear barriers, but also be conducted by corresponding mechanisms. Perhaps it's something we can make use of. Mind the side effect. Into the wind. I'll uproot you. And shroud. Let's light it up. This is order. Solidify. Remember, help comes first. <laughs> The wind knows me. Fallen leaves. Adorn my... <laughs> Order guide you. Stabilize. <laughs> Can't see? <laughs> Let's nip that in the butt. Get out of here! Jolie! Look out! There's a monster next to her! The god remains must have lured them here. Watch my back. One with the force. Yeah. I hear everything. I will have order. Yeah. A bitter pill to swallow. Taking a turn for the better. Stabilize. 
uproot you! Let's light it up! <laughs> Mind the side effects. Tough. Tough. Seems like an emergency. Baiju, how serious is it? Is she... I can still feel a pulse, but her condition is quite grave. The god remains here are encroaching on her cognition, much as the poison in your system did to you. If we don't eliminate it soon, then even if we save her life, I fear that she may never wake up again. Then, uh, what are we waiting for? Let's destroy the remains right away! It's not as simple as that. Don't you remember what Baiju said? The poison within Jialiang's body is inextricably linked to the god remains here. If the source is purged, the poison in his system will stop having any effect. <sighs> and the poison within Jialiang's body is keeping his heart condition under control. So, if it stops working... Oh no. Are you saying... Indeed. If the god remains here are purged, then your life will come to an end. <sighs> I wondered when this day might come. Wait, wait, wait! But we've all been working our butts off to save Jia Liang's life! After all that, we can't just give up on him? Oh. Baiju, you're a great doctor! Surely you've gotta know of some other way we can save him, right? You could continue to take the poison, which would buy you some time. As for Jiang Li, Maybe if we put our heads together, we can think. It appears to me that she was striving to concoct your medicine for you. Right up until the moment when she lost consciousness. Maybe it's her greatest wish that you will continue to take it and live. Dr. Baiju, give it to me straight. How long does Jiang Li have? The god remains have reached her internal organs. Under ordinary circumstances, I would give her less than three days. But, but what would be the point of that? Dr. Baiju, I'm all too aware of the dangers of God remains. You are not the first to mention it to me. If I continue to sustain my own life using this wretched substance, not only would Jiang Li have to keep risking her life to make my medicine for me, oh, but I would have to live with the looming threat. I know for a fact that I should have died over a decade ago. The fact that I've been around to see how you grow up is already a great blessing from Rex Lapis. If my choice can bring Jiang Li back, then even if I, uh, uh, even if I die... Jia Liang? <laughs> After cheating death for so long, it seems I've grown somewhat addicted to life. <sighs> Traveler, Dr. Baiju. Of course. Thank you, everyone. And I'm sorry that I won't be able to repay your kindness in this life. Jia <laughs> Liang? Baiju Changsheng? Is there really nothing else you can do? I am sure that over the years, Jiang Li will have tried all the conventional methods known to humankind. As for less conventional methods, I have little expertise besides Chung Shung's secret art. Mortals are fated to grow old and pass on when their natural lifespan runs out. If it were so easy to combat the natural processes of aging and death, Jiang Li would not have had to resort to unnatural methods. What a crazy situation! Jiang Li risked it all to save Jia Liang's life, and now... Jia Liang has to sacrifice himself to save- I've seen many final farewells in my time. In the human realm, all things must come to an end. At least, that's what generations of masters before you have always believed. The path they chose was indeed a heroic one. But when I think of those who would willingly sacrifice themselves for others, I cannot help but think that theirs are the lives least deserving of death. When all this began, we agreed that once Ayu was old enough to help you gather herbs, it would be time for me to go. <laughs> if you could only see him now. He took me all the way to Liyue Harbor to see the doctor. 
So, I know that you'll both be okay without me. <clears throat> I've said my goodbyes. My time has come. Do what you must. As you wish. Eat away at both your cognition and your memories. In the end, you'll become little more than a shadow of your true self. I'll take it. At the very least, it will allow me to stay with you and watch how you grow up. Mom, something's really wrong with Dad. Don't fret, Ayu. I will gather some medicinal herbs right away. <coughs> Why would these memories come to mind now? Ah, the longer we live, the, the tighter we cling to what we have. Oh, how I would love to hear, to hear your voice one last time. Jaliang, 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 Jaliang. Dad, are you awake? Uh, Jiang Li, are you? He returned to a zombie. Didn't I? <laughs> huh? What are these? How does it feel to come back to life? Do you feel strange or different in any way? If so, could you describe it to me in detail? Dr. Baishu, I... I thought that I was going to... <laughs> Die? You did indeed. As things stand now, you're more akin to a zombie than a human. I'm a zombie? That's right. Before we set off, I asked Chi-Chi to prepare an elixir of immortality. With its help, you have been suspended in the space between life and death. Of course... This is but a crude imitation of an adeptus art. I don't expect it to extend your life indefinitely. Whether it will keep you alive for a few days, a few months, or a few years, I'm as interested as you to find out. But, however long you have left, I believe it should be more than sufficient time for you to say your final goodbyes before departing the world in peace. I hope that Director Hu finds this arrangement to be a satisfactory one. An elixir of immortality? How'd you cook that up? Ugh. Leave it to you to work on something like that behind my back. It's a work in progress that hardly lives up to its name, and it would have had no effect were it not for Jia Liang's iron will. In the end, I am merely a doctor. I understand very little of the great principles governing life and death and the perpetual cycle of yin and yang. All I know is that if I'm presented with a life that deserves to be saved, I will do everything in my power to save them. And even this would have counted for nothing without Director Hu's assistance. After all, did you not tell Jia Liang to show us the way before we set off for Qingsa Village? Oops. And I'm busted. <laughs> without Director Hu nudging things in the right direction, we may not have found Jiang Li in time. No wonder he didn't mention the elixir back then. I thought he was being frank and transparent with me for once. But apparently not. <clears throat> Director Hu told me to keep her suggestion a secret. But it seems nothing escapes Dr. Baiju's attention. <laughs> Never underestimate a serpent's sense of smell. <sighs> All I wanted was to help Jia Liang find his missing wife as soon as possible, so that he could be on his way to the afterlife without any unfulfilled wishes making the journey more difficult than it needs to be. Leave it to Boo Boo Pharmacy to snatch the perfect opportunity right out of my hands at the last hurdle. <sighs> one Chi Chi was enough of a conundrum. The last thing I need is another one. If I'd known this was coming, I'd have whisked him off to the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor the moment I found him. You stay away from my dad! 
When I grow up, I'm gonna become an even better doctor than Mom and Baiju, and cure Dad for good! <sighs> oh, is that right? Well, you wouldn't be the first person who's tried to put Wangsheng Funeral Parlor out of business. Traveler, Paimon, I'll catch you all another time. Oh, is she finally gone? <laughs> is she even troubled? All's well that ends well. If you ask Paimon, we should probably do something to celebrate this hard-earned family reunion. <laughs> At times like this... <laughs> It feels like it was a whole lifetime ago when I last talked with Zhongli and Ayu around the dinner table. Yay! Paimon! All right, first things first, off to the market for some fresh and... Wait up! I'll come too! Baiju, thank you so, so much for everything you've done for us. Don't mention it, Jiangli. I was just doing my duty. Just your duty, huh? <sighs> Baiju... Now that you are part zombie, there are some rules that you need to know. Uh, yes, ma'am. I'm listening. First, don't forget to stretch your body regularly. Second, don't forget to... Uh, yes? Go on. Don't forget to... <laughs> I forgot. Stretch. Always have your memories. <laughs> 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 she teaches <just> rules. <laughs> she did one. Okay, so. Oh, what is it? <laughs> Time flies. It's been so long since we bade each other farewell in Chen Yu Vale. Changsheng, you're the same as ever. You haven't changed one bit. You, on the other hand, have changed a lot. You're right. My younger self would have never imagined that things would one day turn out this way. Or that you'd turn out this way, Baizhou. I've taken a look at your elixir of immortality. It's not altogether dissimilar from the poison I concocted in terms of the way it functions. I have to say, Jiangli, it was a stroke of genius to use poison to maintain life. I hope you're not too upset at me for copying your methods. No, not at all. With your intellect, even if you'd never seen my poison, I believe you would have eventually arrived at the same approach. But I'm still impressed by how quickly you managed to gain such a thorough understanding of it. Jia Liang's still only been in your care for a few days. Not just that, you even managed to improve upon the original formula. That cannot be explained by intellect alone. Baiju, be honest with me. Did you try out some of the poison on yourself? <laughs> the audio doesn't huh. match that. Told you the truth would surface sooner or later. Life force isn't the only thing that Chang Shang's contract lets you transfer between bodies, is it? Nothing gets past you, Jiang Li. You are correct. Besides life force, Changsheng's secret art also allows for the transfer of toxins and diseases. When I treated Jia Liang for the second time, I transferred some of the poison from his body into my own. Not only did this allow me to alleviate the burden on him, but it also gave me an opportunity to study its properties. There is no need to worry about any long-term consequences to my health, however. Now that the source has been destroyed, any remaining poison in me will have already dissipated. But you took such a huge risk. If we hadn't destroyed the gods' remains back there, then even you might have... <sighs> what am I saying? 
I'm in no position to criticize you for this. <laughs> the reason I left our master and went into hiding all those years ago was that he was getting old, and I didn't want him using up any more of his own life force to treat my husband. But in the end, how were my methods any different? I risked one life to save another, and then you tried the poison on yourself too. <sighs> It looks like both of us have ended up going the same way as our master before us. Are all disciples of Chen Yu Vale destined to turn out this way? To live a short life, having given away our own for the sake of others? To fight relentlessly against the natural course of life and death, whatever the cost? <sighs> Maybe our fate is sealed the moment we decide to study medicine. We are doctors, Jiang Li. We ought never say that anyone's fate is sealed. Baiju, I can tell that, over the years, you've used the contract with Changsheng to transfer many diseases and toxins to yourself. There are so many that some of them I don't even recognize. Can you still stop before it's too late? I think you know the answer, Jiang Li. Every one of us from Chen Yu Vale believes in the same thing. Hey, food's ready! Mom, come and join us! The Traveler taught me a load of new recipes, and said even Dad'll be able to taste them. Yes, darling. Mom will be there in just a second. Hey, slow down. Daiju, I know I won't be able to convince you, but Chi-Chi, Gui and all the friends who have grown fond of you. There's no need to worry, Jiang Li. I know what I'm doing. <sighs> I... Hmm. By you, what did Jiang Li mean by not a... Every single mortal I've ever contracted with, including Baiju and Jiang Li's master, Pass has passed away at a young age. age. Wait! That doesn't make any sense. You said that the contract with you helps people live longer. <sighs> it is a very long story. Don't really twist and turn. Long ago, when plagues ravaged the land, one doctor made a pledge to rid the world of pain and suffering. But even the most ingenious mortal medicine could not stay the tide of disease. And after working tirelessly for many years, even his dearest loved ones fell sick and bade their final farewell. Legends told of an herb lord in Chen Yu Vale who could cure any illness known to mankind. The doctor sought the herb lord, but found only a white snake, its breathing weak and its power all but spent. Sign this contract and let our lives be joined. Then I will impart to you the secret art of healing. But be warned, this art will harm your own health. With means beyond human ken, the doctor could now reverse the process of death. And yet, the time still came to say goodbye. Only now, the one departing was the doctor, his life force spent. His final act in life was to pass on the contract to his final patient, his favorite disciple. The disciple chose to dedicate their life to saving the lives of others. And generation upon generation followed in these footsteps. <coughs> Since I inherited this contract, I've always respected the path taken by my predecessors and followed it myself unquestioningly. That is, until I tried to use the art to save my own disciples, beloved. She begged me not to use up my own life force. She said that this art is a poison chalice, an evil and unnatural practice. 
She did not wish to sacrifice one life for the sake of another, when both were lives she treasured. Only then did it occur to me. Did I not suffer when my master passed away, just as patients' families do at their loved one's deathbed? Are not the lives cut short by this contract just as worthy of saving as any patients? What is this contract to us? Medicine or poison? Alas, I no longer have enough time left to find the answer. I entrust to your care both Changsheng and this final question. May you find a remedy for this conundrum which has ailed us so. Time and again, no matter how much I try to warn them or balance their chi, I can never save them. And you? What's your answer? Mr. Six. If I abandoned the contract and left you without a host, what would happen? Hmm. I suppose I'd spend my final moments taking a nice nap on Mount Yaojin. Then I'd be reunited with my old friends and your predecessors. Then it's decided. If there's a life in front of me that deserves to be saved, why shouldn't I do everything within my power to save it? <sighs> Once again, it's the same answer. So be it. Close your eyes. Who knows how many more people will take on this contract? None. This contract will end with me. contract has strict requirements on the host's natural temperament. All my hosts have been most pure of heart. But when one with an altruistic nature gains access to this art, they are more seduced than the average person by the miracle of overturning the laws of life and death. Though they know better than anyone else the fate that awaits them, when faced with the sorrows of humanity and the pain of losing their nearest and dearest, they cannot help but reach beyond human means. They are like moths that throw themselves into the flame, seeking a glimmer of hope in a dark world filled with pain and suffering. So, by you, does that mean... <laughs> I suppose that would make me a moth that yearns for the light, but doesn't want to be burned to a crisp. Chengsheng's art can transfer pain and suffering between people, but it cannot reduce the total amount of pain in the world. It's just like we witnessed. Either Jia Liang feared for Jiang Li's life, or Jiang Li grieved over Jia Liang's sacrifice. I have nothing but the utmost respect for my predecessors, who sacrificed their lives for their principles. But I do not wish to join their ranks, nor do I wish to pass on this contract to anyone else in the future. Huh? But, didn't you already transfer a ton of diseases onto yourself? What makes a poison, poison? And what makes a disease, a disease? When it comes down to it, are not both mechanisms that affect the operations of the human body? If disease is defined as deviation from normal functioning, then who knows? Perhaps the true elixir of immortality could in fact be a kind of poison. Many may view the notion of searching for immortality in poisons and illnesses as a flagrant violation of the natural order. But to me, it is no different from the way our ancestors tested the medicinal qualities of herbs by sampling each and every one. I don't want those who come after me to lose their lives to this contract. Nor do I wish for Changsheng to perish from losing her host. This leaves only one solution, doesn't it? Precisely. I will be Changsheng's final host, and the tradition of passing down the contract will end with me. Even the gods of old struggle to achieve true immortality. First you want to save others, then you want to save yourself. Now you even want to save me. You're getting greedy, Baiju. Hmm... But isn't wanting to have it all what makes us human? For a selfish moth like me, who's afraid of the flame yet yearns for the light, 
The only path forward is up towards the moon. Huh. For once, Paimon just does not know what to say. Dr. Baiju, Traveler, what are you still chatting about? The food. We also have coconut milk for Changsheng and Paimon. Um. Okay, fine. Let's go grab some food. Paimon has a bunch of burning questions, but they can wait till after we've eaten. Yeah. I do envy Paimon sometimes. Eating her fail is enough to satisfy her body and mind. <laughs> True. And yet, although we call them simple pleasures, are such things as these not precisely why we mortals cling desperately to the life we have? Unlike Alhatham, can enter Baiju's room. Uh, adventure time! Oh, finally, a message from Natlin. <laughs> oh. to Natlin. Mom told me that they could be friends, sir. If there aren't any medical books. I heard the hospital in Natlin help with muscle action. Plus, perhaps it will be beneficial for Jaliang. Not do too much for that family. For me. The family. Head up to Natlin, mysterious uh, fire nation. Just, I guess I was beyond the Sumeria desert here. Natlin, mountains down here. Anyway, stat. Give me the damn port. <laughs> Smash knives up here. Okay then guys, I'm gonna end the stream for today. Tomorrow stream, I'll think about it. <laughs> well then guys, have a nice night. Sai. <laughs> Sai, Mira-san. <laughs>